What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the last episode of Bravely the Fall. Last episode, you guys, we fought the Salamanca uh, Quaida, who apparently faked his death after we left. But it didn't really matter since Swordmaster just killed him anyway because he's honestly sick of his shit. So, this episode, we're gonna interrogate a child because apparently he might know something about the Fire Vestal. Whether or not she's still alive, or something else, I don't know. But we'll find out. Hegel, you're alive! Do you... know this boy? His parents were part of our household guard. They lost their lives three years ago protecting my husband. We hadn't heard from Egil since then. To think that he had been forced to work in the Mithril Mine. Mrs. Goodman, could we ask you to look after Egil here for a while? We can't take him with us where we're going. Yes, of course. <clears throat> He's awake! Where am I? I... I... I have to... to hurry. Hurry... where? The Fire Vestal asked me to help. I have to go. Where is this? Where am I? Wait, Eagle! Well, that's, um... Oh, that's certainly fun, ain't it? Oh, good thing you didn't run very far. Eagle, thank you for rescuing me, but I have to go back to the Mithril Mine. Weaver captured the mine from the sword bearers. You don't have to work there anymore. All your friends have been freed. I still have to go back. Go back where? Does this have something to do with the Fire Vestal, Ego? That's right. Did you meet her? No. I've never met her before. But I sometimes see her in my dreams. I really do. Oh, she is dead. Okay, then. She always seems sad and tells me, Go to the deepest tunnel. Lead the wind there. Uh, the wind? I wonder what that could mean. The deepest tunnel? Does it lead somewhere? Yes. Who are you? She is the Wind Vestal. What? That means... This tunnel may lead into the Temple of Fire. Even in death, it seems the Fire Vestal is trying to fulfill her duty through Egil's dreams. Oh, that's nice. I must see this done. I must. Egil, show me the way to this tunnel. Got it! Leave it to me! Wait! Eagles in no state to go anywhere. Hey! <laughs> Why do you object, Tin? Because it's dangerous. Also, like, yeah, Tiz is like whole trauma is really coming up and now, ain't it? Tiz, how is Eagle? He's asleep at last. Idea is with him now. Agnes and Eri are in a hut. Yeah, I imagine. We couldn't let Eagle take them into the mine. It's too dangerous. Hmm. You know, ever since we found Eagle, you've stopped having your nightmares, Tiz. Huh? Really? Hmm. Huh. I don't know what that could mean. But yeah, like, him unable to rescue his brother, like, he, he's basically projecting out that ego here. He's like, well, I can't protect my brother, but I can protect you. I'll leave the ego in your capable hands. Understood. Be careful out there. Where is Egil now? He's holed up in his room. He won't let anyone in. We can't take him with us. Even so. No matter. I've questioned him thoroughly about the location of this passageway. Let's set out then. Okay, let's go. Hmm. 
That's a mine. Let's see, do I have the, uh... Oh. Yep, okay. Just trying to do a little bit of grinding in between episodes. Alright, so back to the mine we go. Ah, there goes in the shop. Knew it. <laughs> I just love that. It's just like, there'd be no way this kid wasn't gonna show up. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna assume the Pike Man is also weak to lightning. Since the other two were as well, so. Okay, wait. Uh, yeah. Lightning, all of them. And. Crescent Moon, all of them. Mm, not a lot of damage. But better than nothing. We specifically told you not to follow us. <sighs> Are you listening to me, Ego? But I'm the only one who knows how to open up the way through. What? You have to squeeze into a really tight hole to open up the way through. You'd never be able to fit. Not in a million years. You said nothing about this back at the house. You tricked us. Smart kid. I didn't trick you. I just left that part out. <laughs> it's the same thing. Anyway, I'm small enough to fit through a silly little hole. But you're too tiny to move the stone lever that opens the passage up. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> Smart kid again. We'll have to take Ego with us now. That's the only way to awaken the crystal. We can't do that. No need to yell at Anya, Tiz. What are you so upset about? Yeah, Tiz, I... share. What do you propose then, Tiz? I wouldn't do that. We'll go back. What if the sword bearers or black blades beat us to the temple? Good point. Ego was just attacked by the enemy, right? He was held prisoner by them before as well. They may already be aware of this passage you found. But... I believe we should focus on the task of awakening the crystal. Exactly! To cleanse the darkness from this world, we must accept some risks and some sacrifices. Never! What are you saying, Eri? Oh, God. I don't want anyone to be sacrificed. I won't allow it! What then? You are trampling upon the will of Egil, the late fire vessel, and me. As a vessel, I cannot let you do this. H hey. He reminds me of my little brother who died. Till. What? Till? That's the thing? The chasm opened up, and Norende was swallowed by darkness. My little brother, about the same age as Egil, he fell along with it. Right before my eyes. I couldn't save him. I couldn't hold on to Till's hand any longer. The look on his face as he stared back at me and fell into that black pit hasn't left my mind ever since. The same goes for the water vestal. It was agony watching her life fade in front of me. I couldn't bear to watch Anya's cling to her and weep. I've seen enough death to last a lifetime. That's why I don't want to lead Egil into peril. Even if it is to deliver the world from danger. You might not have a choice, buddy. Then why don't you try to stop Agnes from facing danger, Tiz? Because I know that no matter what, Agnes would just go off on her own. And I promised Anyas that I'd stay at her side, to be there, to protect her. Aww. Tis. Well, there's your answer. Huh? What do you mean? We'll go together with Ego. Tis will protect him. We all will. Right? 
<sighs> yeah, that's a good point. Please let me go. I want to see the fire vessel's wishes carried out. You win. But you're not to go wandering off without us, okay, Eagle? Got it. Thanks. Uh, uh, huh? What? Never mind. <laughs> uh, he's better like, oh, you really believe in me? Ah, that's a part chat. Every visit, Eagle. Hey, Eagle, I'm talking to you. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Quit nagging. Hey, this is. This after you lied to me, you pipsqueak? Keep telling you, I never lied. You didn't ask, so I didn't mention it. That's all. Oh, I didn't. I don't need to take that kind of backtalk from you. I'm a lot bigger than you. You're the little pipsqueak. What was that? Nothing. I didn't say a word. Honestly, what kind of attitude is that? And from a, into a crisp way as well. Are you hearing this? Ari, you the child. Don't be so immature. <laughs> you heard it, Ari. Nah, 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 nah. You little... Uh, yeah. Hang in there, I guess. <laughs> Poor Ari. She's been mocked by this kid and no one's helping her. Be careful, okay? I will. I know this place like the back of my... <gasps> Whoa! What? <laughs> A big piece of mithril ore! <laughs> this isn't the time for that, Eagle. You've got to stay with me, okay? Oh, come on! Finding this can mean the difference between eating or not, you know. It's a precious find. <sighs> Let it go, Eagle. The war will be over soon. <laughs> then you won't have to. Wow! Now that I look at it more closely, I think this is Orikalcum. Amazing! When we find some of this, we get eggs with our dinner. <laughs> it's my lucky day! Oh, kids. Oh, top of that party chat. Whoa. You alright? Yeah, I just stumbled a bit. My eyes haven't really adjusted. I don't know reason to be careful where you sit up. You know, when you think about it, the moon's way better than the sun. I agree. What makes you say that? The moon shines when it's dark out, so we can see it at night. The sun only shines during the day when it's bright anyway. <laughs> bright during the day because of the sun, silly. And do you know the moon only shines because of the sun's light? Nah. Uh, huh, really? The moon only shines because of the sun? Yeah, the sun makes sense. It must be really grateful. Grateful how so? Because when the sun is tired, the moon fills in for it while it rests. I honestly never thought of it like that. Like, like don't, like, don't worry, son. Like, I, I'll take it for you. Like, oh, jeez. I, like, I appreciate it. Oh, I almost went back up the stairs. Oh, look at see? Mm hmm. I swear to God, if Ego dies, I'm gonna be so upset. We're here. This is the place. There's a stone lever at the back of this narrow hole. Just a second. He wasn't kidding. Only Ego or Eri could fit down there. Okay. Here I go. Underflow. This cave is the same as the one from my dreams. The fire vestal told me the way to go. The temple of fire is that way. Great! 
<laughs> I only know because the fire vessel told me. It's nothing special. Actually, it Not is. That you're glad you brought me, though, right? <laughs> that means yes, you bought yourself. Yes. Let's get going. I like how Anyas is the one who is just like, oh yeah, by the way, um, like, come on, we got other shit to do. Like, save your blood in for another day. Yeah, let's go this way. What's down here? Money. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, so I can't just run. I gotta actually <laughs> time out my path here. Okay. That's fine, honestly. Wait, this is the way up. I wanna go the other way. What's over here, I wonder? Oh. Oh, the, um, uh, secret chest. Supposedly we're gonna find a key or something that lets us unlock that. Or some skill or something, I don't know. Another bomb fragment? Okay. Oh, come on, I wasn't even touching it. Okay, what's over here? I'm gonna just... And a bomb arm. You gotta be really careful with this. Alright. There is. See, I'll go this way. What's well, this way? I wonder. Something good, hopefully. Safety ring. Does that like in protect against fire damage? That nullifies death. Ooh, that could be good. Down here? No, oh, not Les. Are you getting tired, Eagle? Yeah, it's hot down here. Let's take a little break then. That okay with you, Agnes? Oh, okay. Hey, Eagle. What will you do when the war ends? Hmm. I don't know. Isn't there? I'd like to go to military academy. Then I want to be a guardsman for the shield bearers. My mother and father died noble deaths protecting the top shield bearers. The soldiers of the shield bearers served to protect the fire vessel. I want to shield people like my mother and father did. Noble. Is that so? But I guess I need to find a place to live before that. 
I have no home to go back to now. After my mother and father died, he was really kind. But he got sick and died soon after. I had nowhere to go. And then I ran into some sword bearers who were rounding up orphans. They took me to the mithril mine. I see. You've done well to survive. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. We know um, the commander's wife is going to take him in. Let's be honest. Alright, hopefully we can get through this over here without getting too badly burnt. Can't get that item. What's this one apparently? Okay, fine. Are you thirsty? Yeah, I have to keep my promise to the fire vestal. I don't want to run out of steam before then. You hold the fire vessel dear, don't you, Ego? Your faith in crystallism is strong for such a young boy. Well, my mother and father were followers. I'm not sure what I believe in yet. Fair. The teachings of crystallism are a bit over my head. I don't really know what to make of them. Then why do you brave such perils? Because I made the fire vestal a promise. That's all. Aww. She always looked so sad in my dreams. <laughs> I just want to see her smile for a change. What a sweet kid. <gasps> I just want to make her happy. <sighs> I didn't think I was touching it, but okay, game. Anything down this way? Nope, dead end. Alright. I don't think this is how we get those um, items. Yeah, it is. What was the point of making me go all the way around, though? Hmm. I don't know. We really don't. Oh well. What's done is done. Guess I can't go that way. A diamond staff. Ooh. That good for on yes? Nope. Nope. That's not what I fucking meant to do, game. No. No, it is. It is not. Nope. Okay. Oh, nothing super useful. Oh, 
Well, see, I really gotta stop walking into the fire. <laughs> Okay, guess I gotta go this way. King doesn't want me to pick up loot today. Oh, please, hopefully, we get through this area soon. Okay. And I'm so glad, like, no one basically can technically die. There we go. Not exactly for hope, but bad or nothing. I've seen this place before! We're almost at the Temple of Fire! I wonder if that crevice leads into the temple. The earthquakes are getting stronger. Watch your step. If you die here, Anya, the World Blast Hope will perish with you. Great, so no pressure, right? I know. It's shaking again. The ground's collapsing under us. Run! Oh no. Oh no. Hey, oh no. I'll get him. <laughs> Hang in there. We'll get you up. Let me help too. No, it's too dangerous. I already told you, the world is doomed if you die here. Your life belongs to more than just you now. I know it's hard, but stay focused on your mission. I... I... Yeah, fuck duty. I'll toss Eagle over to you. Get him out of here. I'm not going to let go. But we could both end up falling. Come on! Anya! Tis! We did it! No, oh, we're not out of the lava yet. <laughs> oh, honestly, I, I just love that. This whole time she's been about duty and... For God's sake, shut hey, up. Are you even listening to me? Are you all right, Eagle? Yeah. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> you really gave us a scare. I could say the same of you. Huh? We all said we'd help Eagle, and yet you left in alone. Who's this bastard? 
What are you laughing for? <laughs> I'm being serious here. It's just... Your face is covered in mud, August. What? Mud. And where exactly did you think you were going, Agnes? <laughs> that was a shock. You picked a bad time to show you have no sense of direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the temple's that way. The way Agnes caught both of you with those spindly arms of hers is a story I'll pass down to my grandchildren. <laughs> I didn't know you had it in you, Agnes. I've got eyes like a hawk, yet you kept it hidden all this time. It was just the adrenaline. I surprised even myself. So you acted without thinking whether you could pull it off? <laughs> uh, yes. I'm just glad we're all safe uh. and sound. Uh, Tiz, and Adia, and Ringabel. I'm so sorry for saying such terrible things. Well, will you still say... Stay at my side? To the way in. Of course. Oh, not you, Ego. <laughs> <laughs> he took my line. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Enough giggling. We have to hurry to the Temple of Fire. Also, I want to know, like, mud? Where the hell would you get mud on a face from? This is like a volcano. So, maybe. But, mud? Oh, I'm just happy that I had a happy ending. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, it's hilarious. Like, um, like, you pick now to show us you have no sense of direction. Like, the temple of fire that way, not this way. Flame tongue. Gee, I wonder what kind of a like thing that is. Hmm. And it's a sword. Right. Yeah, it is. Mm, no. Uh, cool as it would be to have a fire sword. Um, no. Oh, yeah, inspect. These scriptures. They've been shredded to pieces. <gasps> it was no accident these were destroyed. The ones who attacked the temple. Wait, who are you? I am the Enterate of Fire, mouthpiece of the Promethean Fire. With Stannis a sword and its power shall be yours to command. I, I don't think so. I, what the hell is that? The Promethean, like, what? Ice Flame Shield. Let's see. Uh, I think I want to give that to on yes, actually. Yeah, she she uh she needs a bit more. Look at the sword cuts left in this table. <laughs> Unlike the Temple of Wind or Water, this travesty was at the hands of man. So this is where the fire vestal met her end. I mean, probably not this specific spot, but probably. Oh, good. We need those. That was also appreciated. Garb of a vessel? You're right. 
They look a lot like your garments, Agnes. These are her clothes. The fire vestal was wearing these when she came to me in my dream. Strange that only her ceremonial garb would escape destruction. She'll never get to wear them again. Huh. Yeah, that's um a bit strange, ain't it? Place where time lies still. So this is where the fire vestal. Just like my dream, all of it. Feels like time stopped here in the temple. Yeah. Perhaps because time stopped for the spirit of the fire vessel. Anya's. Oh, yes. Kinda of hard to believe. Time stopping for me too? Will we be alright? We're fine. Time moves on. Our time is still moving, Nagel. Seems hard on the boy. So we're gonna quit and be quit of this place. Oh good, there's a safe guy here. So this episode's already going late, so let's just uh dip our toes in. See what we can come to expect. I felt this ominous presence before. A creature lurks at the fire crystal. What is that thing? Stay back, Eagle. That's Chalkmar! Chagmar, the Mark of Doom. It appears in the teachings of Crystallism. I had a feeling that might be the case. I'm all ready to go. We can't begin the Rite of Awakening until we defeat it, right? I'm afraid not. Let's go, Agnes! The four of us are more than a match for that thing! All right. Yeah, let's do it. That's my... And you guys just... Actually, wait, yeah. You defend, you get away with lightning, and you also def- Nah. You also attack. Okay. You guys defend here for a second. Is... Like, Tiz the only one who can actually do anything? You just default and you brave brave just lightning strike him down. Nice, big damage. Tid somehow survived that, huh? So I can have the magic, okay? We can't have that much health left, right? Actually, yeah. Let's, um... Do a double heal here. And a deer can just revive uh ring a bell. I, mean, I kinda of was hoping he would have been revived, you know before the heal, but okay. This works too, I guess.
Yeah, you just, um, you just default, guys. Get some health back. I only took 2 HP that time. Okay. Yeah, it takes like 1200 there. Okay. Don't know what's causing that, but... Alright. Oh. Yeah, okay. Oh, raise tears from the dead. And then use one of these on them. Actually, wait. Yeah. He is reborn. Yo. Yo. And, uh. Yeah, let's get some wind damage going in. There we go. Wow, everyone's... God damn. Oh, fight's over. Never mind. Only a Dia wins. <laughs> okay. Way to go! You guys were amazing! We've no time to pat ourselves on the back. Let's begin the Rite of Awakening. I'll help you get changed on, yes? Would you? Okay. We're ready to go. Let us begin, Ari. Wow. Are you blushing, Eagle? Of course not. <clears throat> no need to be shy. Any man would be hard pressed to pull his gaze from Anya's neck. Uh, hey, what are you looking at me for? No reason. Come on, let's hurry this up. Everyone. Oh. There we go. Not yet! Just a little longer! I guess this is actually quite painful. I'm trying. I can only press so fast, Terry. Are you all right, Onyas? Yes. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. <sighs> Eagle? Hey, Eagle! What's wrong? You look moonstruck. Moonstruck? Oh. I was just amazed at how different she looks. Thank you for watching over me, Eagle. 
the fire vessel would be very pleased with you. Oh, uh, no problem. So I kept my promise to the fire vessel, right? You sure did, buddy. Of course. Thanks to you, we were able to awaken the crystal. Huh. That's good. Nice. Alright. Can I get to the save point before more cutscenes? Yes, I can. Alright, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. It's already gone on long enough. Um. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, leave a like on this video. Comment down below on. I, I don't know. Anything, honestly. Um. Don't forget to go check out my end of the series on my channel. I might have a new one coming up sometime next week. We will see. But, um, also, please don't forget to go check out my brother Zeus Twitch channel. Link will be on screen. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and join my alliance. I'd greatly appreciate the support. Well, close to 100. So, you know, let's see if we can, can get there.